Welcome back. In part one, we discussed the basic design components of an extruder. In part two, we will dive deeper into how extrusion cooking technology combines extrusion and cooking in one unit operation. The heat for the cooking process can be supplied from external sources or generated in situ by friction slash viscous dissipation of the mechanical power used for rotating the extruder screw. Instrupro extruders are designed such that all the heat required for extrusion cooking is supplied via viscous dissipation of the mechanical energy supplied to the extruder screw. The advantage of this approach is that it eliminates the requirement for additional equipment and utilities needed for heat supply from external sources. Some key advantages of extrusion cooking include it is a continuous process and thus lends itself to high throughput and automation. It is a versatile process that can be used for a wide variety of products by simply changing operating conditions and or the screw configuration. The extruder is a relatively compact machine and therefore possesses a small footprint. And finally, it's a high temperature short time process. One major area where extrusion cooking continues to find increasing use is in the processing of soybeans into soybean meal and soy oil. The high temperature short time nature of this process deactivates unwanted enzymes and anti-nutritional factors that reduce shelf life cause off flavors and reduce protein digestibility while still maintaining the quality of key nutrients present in the soybean. The extrusion process also breaks open the cell structure of the bean, thus providing access to the oil contained within. This helps increase oil yields during mechanical pressing of the extruded soybean meal. In the coming weeks, we will discuss the benefits of oil seed processing and the equipment needed to establish an extrusion facility. Thank you for watching.